Hello everyone, I am Hishikesh Sharma and I am going to give a brief demonstration on BET surface area analyzer. The BET theory, abbreviated from Brunner Emmett Taylor theory, is used to measure the surface area of porous materials. It gives important information on their physical structure as the area of a material surface affects how the solid will interact with its environment. The surface area analysis is one of the most widely used method for material characterization. The surface area of a material can be altered during both synthesis and processing. As a particle is divided into smaller particles, ad additional surfaces are created, thereby increasing the surface area. Similarly, when pores are created within the particles interior by some physical and chemical means, the surface area is also increased. So the materials with many narrow pores such as activated carbons can have surface area more than 2000 meter square per gram. Measuring surface area and porosity of powders is difficult. There are few techniques available and none of those are straightforward. The choice of surface area measurement generally comes down to a technique known as BET surface area. The BET measures surface area based on gas adsorption. In physical gas adsorption, an inert gas, mostly nitrogen, is adsorbed on the surface of a solid material. This occurs on the outer surface and in case of porous materials, also on the internal surface induced by pores. Most widely known is the determination of the BT surface area by gas adsorption, sometimes referred to as BT analysis. Adsorption of nitrogen at a temperature of liquid nitrogen, that is nit 77 Kelvin leads to a so-called adsorption isotherm or BT isotherm, which can be measured over porous and non-porous materials. In specific cases, like for zeolites or activated carbons, the use of argon adsorption or carbon dioxide adsorption is often preferred over nitrogen adsorption to accurately probe the small micropores. Samples with low BET surface area can be adequately be characterized via BET, surf BET analysis by Krypton gas adsorption. In those cases, only a part of the isotherm can be measured, but this still provides a BET surface area with high accuracy. This is the equation for measuring BT surface area. We have to find the intercept and slope from the graph to find BT constant and volume absorption monolayer. This is our Autosorb IQ BET surface area analyzer that we have in our laboratory. Our Autosorb IQ has basically 7 gas fitting ports. The first gas port is only for helium. The helium is used to measure dead volume. The last gas port is only for backfill gas. The gas fill between the helium and the backfill gas are used for adsorptive gases. We basically use nitrogen as adsorptive gas. The Autosorb IQ instrument is supplied with a 3 liter Dewar flux, which is placed in the leaf paste. The Dewar flux contains the coolant, which is basically liquid nitrogen. The adsorption of nitrogen gas is only done at liquid nitrogen temperature, and we should be very careful while dealing with liquid nitrogen gas. These are sample cells. We have basically three types of sample cells of 6 mm, 9 mm, and 12 mm diameter. For the samples like activated carbon nanoparticles, we use 6 mm and 9 mm sample cells. But for the samples like thin films, we have to use the sample cells of diameter 12 mm because they have very low surface. The DR drive status is indicated by a small LED bulb inside the blue chamber, and it will lead when the DR is raised and the level of the coolant is being controlled by the coolant level sensor. The black one is the coolant level sensor. To remove the all unwanted gases like moisture from the sample, we have to first degas the samples. So these are our degassing stations. A cold trap is used to permit continued removal of condensable products of degassing even when heated samples are not connected to active vacuum. And it also prevents diffusion of condensable vapors into the degas manifold. These are the heating mantles which are used in the degassing process. The heating mantles are connected with three wires. The first wire is the power wire and other two are thermocouples which can control the temperature. This is the ASQ wind software 
which is used to measure the BET surface area of a given sample. In the software, we have to click the IQ default tab and then click the connect option. In the IQ default tab, we have to click the outguessing option for deguessing and analysis option for measuring surface area. To measuring BT surface area, we have to follow the following steps. First step is deguessing. The next step is evacuation by applying vacuum to the tubes. Third step is to measure the dead volume using helium. Fourth step is again evacuation and the last step is adsorption by nitrogen gas. Now we have taken some samples. First we have to degas the samples, then we will proceed for nitrogen gas adsorption on the sample. We have weighed the sample and then put it into a 9 mm sample cell. Now we are going to feed the sample in the degassing pot. After degassing, the sample cell were fed into the analysis pot. The time for degassing is depends upon the nature of the sample. For analysis, we have to open the gas cylinders. We basically use helium and nitrogen gas cylinders. And it is the volume versus relative pressure graph. We have taken 7 point BT for measuring surface area. And these are the multi point BT results. We have to find the slope and intercept from the graph to measure the surface area.